Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and I'm in the kitchen doing what I do. And today we're gonna be cooking for dinner. We're gonna be cooking some ribs. Well, they're little short ribs. And we're gonna be cooking some Idahoan cheesy scalloped potatoes. Remember what I told y'all? Gotta get your potatoes from Idaho. I don't know where else to get them from. All the potatoes come from Idaho though. Well, whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna have some teriyaki uh, pork ribs. And I'm gonna be using this uh, King Kaman, uh teriyaki base and glaze with honey and pineapples. When I saw that, I said, oh, that's gonna be good over the ribs. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like, y'all. So we're gonna get the ribs all grilled up and then y'all gonna see how I'm gonna put that glaze on the ribs. Ooh, teriyaki pork ribs, sounds good to me. And the cheesy scallop potatoes. I've got four boxes, y'all. It may seem like a lot, but these boxes don't be having much in them at all if y'all ever got these before. Anyway, that's what we're cooking for dinner. Nice, quick, easy meal. Tastes like you've been in the kitchen all day. All right, let go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get our pan prepped for our, our ribs. I'm gonna spray my pan down. Just spray it a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to spray it a little bit just so um, my meat doesn't stick. And y'all know I love my Publix canola oil spray. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I didn't show y'all the meat. Got to show y'all the meat. Oh, yeah. Oh, nicely seasoned up. Oh, yeah. But the thing about it is I didn't put a lot of season. Just, just a little bit of season just to give it a little flavor. Because you got to remember I'm going to be putting putting the teriyaki glaze on it so I don't want it too salty so and not over season so I just did a little garlic little onion powder little parsley make it look all pretty a little salt little pepper just the basic and then that all-purpose seasoning yeah that's all I did so don't want to do too much because you got the teriyaki glaze that you got to put on the meat so all right now just so you guys know I am gonna broil I have my oven set at 525 degrees I'm gonna be broiling the uh ribs they're gonna taste so good y'all okay so i sprayed my pan all right let's get our meat in and as you guys can see these are pretty thick they're pretty thick so get that oil spread around my pan make sure my oil nice and uh grease there all right get our meat in here Oh, this gonna be good. So good. Mm, 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 mm. And you know what? You can use that glaze with uh, any meat. Chicken, and pork chops, whatever you want to use it for. It's a really good glaze. It's a teriyaki glaze. I've made it teriyaki rice with it before. And we're gonna make sure we got this meat side up. Like I said, this is a thicker meat. Oh yeah, we got that looking real nice and pretty. Everybody all lined up all pretty. Okay, okay, okay. Remember what I tell y'all. Presentation. How you present yourself. That's all I gotta say. How you present yourself means everything. Alright, so we got our meat in there. Like I said guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven. I'm going to broil it. I've got it at 525 degrees. I'm going to put it in there for about, I'm going to see how I do on 20 minutes. And then I'll be back to show y'all how that um, pork looks. And then we'll go ahead and get started on these Idaho cheesy potatoes. They are quick, easy potato guys. Alright, washing my hands. Alright y'all, uh, I'll be back so we can get started on these potatoes. Okay guys, let's get into our potatoes. They are quick and easy to make. Uh, all you need is one and a half cups of boiling water, three fourth cup of milk, and one tablespoon of butter, margarine, whatever you want to use. Um, so yeah, that's it, quick and easy. Um, and looking at the directions, I cooked these a million times. I think I probably have on the channel, but anyway. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and put our potatoes in. Potatoes in the sauce mix. Okay, each box comes with the potatoes, of course, in them and these little um, packets of powdered cheese. So of course you guys know I got four boxes, so I had to do all my ingredients times four. So, all right, 
one and a half cup of boiling water, three fourth cup of milk, and one tablespoon of margarine. So we're gonna dump all that in there, mix it all up, and put it in the oven for about 25 minutes, they say. All right, so let's get all our potatoes. And see what I mean? These boxes don't really have that much. See, that's just one box. It doesn't really have a lot of potatoes. So that's why I, I always get like four boxes. Sometimes I get five, you know, so we can have leftovers. So let's get all our potatoes dumped in here. And they, they look just like potato chips, y'all. Look at that, scallop potatoes. Nothing but like potato chips. All right, dump that in. And box number four. All right, so we got all four of our boxes dumped in here. All four boxes. Now we're gonna get all four of our cheese packs in here. You make sure y'all can see. Okay, yeah, y'all can see. Yeah, we just dump it. All four of our cheese packs in here. Get that cheese dumped in there, all spread it around. And I've got my boiling water over there on the stove already. So I'll be bringing that in. It smells so good, so cheesy. All right, so. Let's get our boiling water in here. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do, let me get my milk in here. Got all my milk here ready. Just pour your milk in. It's kind of like a casserole kind of style, but. Get that milk all poured in. But it is quick and easy though. Okay, all right, we got that. Let's get our tablespoons of margarine. We need four of these. Four tablespoons. Just gonna put a little bit more because I kind of cut one up short. But anyway. Alright. Okay. Alright, so we got our margarine in there. Okay, let me get this closed. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my hot boiling water. Just gonna pour that in. I'm pouring it over the butter so that butter can melt. Cause I'm gonna mix this all up. Just a little trick I learned from cooking these so much. Okay, so let me get my spoon. All I'm gonna do is mix this up. Smells so cheesy. You should get that. See, the reason why I pour the hot water over that butter so that butter can start melting. And all you're gonna do is just mix this all up real good. Mix it up all good. I'm telling you guys, these, these cheesy potatoes are really good. I and mean, they got all kind of flavors. They got fully loaded bacon. and Oh, here it is on the side of the box. Um, home style garlic, fully loaded. I mean, they got all kind of flavors. The cheesy, y'all see on the side of the box? They got all kind of flavors. So, And they are so quick and easy to make. Nice little quick some. And I like to stir it up real, real good. Make sure all my cheese powder gets mixed in. Don't that look good, y'all? Make sure y'all can see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish mixing this up and get it in the oven, like they said, for about 25 minutes. And I'll bring it out and show y'all how good it looks. And those, um, I just checked on the pork ribs. They're looking good in there, y'all. I'll be back and you know what? Um, I'll be back to show y'all me putting the glaze on the ribs. I'll be back, y'all. 
okay guys I'm back I've got my um, my pork out of the oven and I just transferred it over to this dish because this is the dish that I'm gonna glaze it in so as you guys can see let me take you guys in so you can see the pork is all nice and brown it looks delicious it is it is good I, I had a piece yep mm -hmm, I had some just so y'all know so yeah mm -hmm. might see a piece missing but whatever it's my food anyway all right so let's go ahead and get our glaze on here I'm just gonna pour it over nothing special nothing fancy just pour it over your pork and then I'm gonna stick this back in the oven I changed the oven to bake because I put those potatoes in uh, now that my pork is done I did change the oven to bake at 450 we've got to cook those potatoes for 25 minutes Oh, I put it on 30 because it usually takes longer than 25 minutes in my stove. So, all right. And as you guys can see, I'm just pouring that glaze over. And I'm making sure it goes down in the bottom there. So my sides get all nice and juicy. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Oh, that's going to be delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Make sure I get all my stuff I pay for. Now, I'm going to take y'all in. Y'all can't tell me that does not look delicious. Yep. Going to put it back in the oven for about five minutes. Let it get all baked into the meat and all juicy and yes. I don't know why I'm so hungry all of a sudden, but. All right, y'all. Let me get this in the oven. The potatoes are already in the oven. Like I said, I'm going to put this in for five minutes and I'll be back to show y'all the grand finale okay guys it's time for the grand finale we've got our cheesy scallop potatoes out of the oven let me give y'all a wide shot Ooh, look at it and then I'm gonna take y'all in to those cheesy potatoes oh my goodness y'all can tell me those don't look good and they taste good too all right let's move over to our teriyaki pork ribs boneless ribs mm, 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 mm. yep y'all see them let me take y'all out oh yeah they look amazing all right y'all see me do it so you know i did it this is arika misha thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe follow me on all my social media that's instagram youtube of course and facebook at arika misha thanks guys